Remember when calculators were physical things? Before they became just another app on our phone? No weight in your hands, no satisfying clicks, just glass. But if we combine the satisfaction of mechanical switches with the math we actually needed. Today we're building something real, a calculator with a click. To start, I ordered some parts off of DigiKey. First of which is the AdMaker 32P, the brain behind our calculator. A 16x2 LCD display to display the numbers. Battery holder to power our calculator. And finally some diodes, one for each switch. Finally, you'll need some key switches for the buttons. With the parts laid out, it's finally time to design the schematic for our prototype. It's time to open up KiCad, lay out my parts, and make the connections accordingly. And we ended up with a schematic like this. Finally, after wiring up the schematic, it was time to prototype the circuit we built. So I plugged in my Arduino and brought up the Arduino IDE. Making use of the keypad library, I first initialized my matrix. From there, it was time to make a simple calculate function that took in two numbers and performed the assigned operation. Finally, we have the main loop that catches button presses, handles numbers and math operators, and cleans up when you hit C. This also gives you the answers when you press equals. It's showing everything on LCD screen as you type, keeping track of your numbers, and doing all the math logic behind the scenes. Now it was time to prototype our board with a 4x4 matrix pad. Prototyping had been a success. Now it was time to open up the boards I received from JLC PCB and begin soldering. Now that we had everything soldered, it was finally time to test out the board. And just like that, we confirmed our board works. Now it was time to design the casing for our calculator. So we launched Fusion 360 and turned an idea into something real. Layer by layer, our 3D printed case began taking shape. 